there guys and girls this is the Prussian Prince with another Tola War Attila tournament match this is the Agony 2015 team championships group stage group C match between myself and Maximus versus Majutsu and Vim again we have Langobards and Visigoths whereas uh, Majutsu and Vim have the Langobards and the Franks in the first game which is uh, this one uh, we have uh, myself playing as the Visigoths Maximus as the Langobards Manjutsu as the Franks and Vim as the Langobards. So, uh, and we have a tough road against this, against the uh, Langobards and Visi uh, and uh, Franks, because the Franks have really good heavy shock cavalry, which is going to be a problem for us to actually deal with. But uh, let's go over the compositions that we have. So. I have uh, on my left flank Gothic General with Brace. Then we see two Germanic Lancers, two Noble Gothic Lancers, and a Germanic Horseman over here with three Gothic Warband and a Germanic Bow Unit. Now we have on the right flank a Germanic Archer with a Germanic Bow, three Gothic Warband, two Noble Gothic Lancers, two Germanic Lancers and a Germanic Horseman. That is actually my build. Now for Maximus' build, build as the Langobards. He has his general in the center, Redoubtable Chieftain Silver 1 with Brace. Uh, he also has some cavalry on the field. Looks like four no Noble Germanic Horsemen, Old Gold 3. Uh, up front we see a bunch of Scaled Clubmen. It's, I believe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Scaled Clubmen supporting three, four, five Germanic archers, then we see a horse here on the center right, horse here on the center left, and then on each flank we have a horse slayer, so that is our build. Now for our opponents, uh, well, let's see what they have, they have, uh, first I'm gonna go over the, the Langobards, Redoubtable Chieftain General as usual with Brace, then we have, let's see, two Noble Germanic Horsemen Gold 3 over there, two Noble Germanic Horsemen Gold 3 here, and some cavalry units. I uh, know those are Frankish units. Okay, they have two Horse Slayers on the left, Bronze 1, two Horse Slayers on the right, Bronze 1. Uh, main line of, let's see, oh, they have some Scaled Clubmen, looks like six of those in total. And that seems to be the build of the Langobards. For the Franks, though, uh, two Scara Francisca on each flank. Again, Scara Francisca is the proper word, not Sacra. Uh, then also two Anstruciones Cavalry Guard. Uh, let's see, on each flank. We all, they also have some Frankish Lancers, uh, interesting choice. They are medium though, uh, two of those, so we can deal with those. And let's see, six Germanic Archers, I believe. Three, four, five, yeah, six Germanic archers and a Germanic hunter. And up front, four Germanic pikes. So definitely their build is very strong. They have an extremely strong center, and then their flanks are stronger than ours because they have the heavy shock cap, which we do not. So I'm gonna press fast forward and let's see how this one is going to end up going. Um yeah, we have the bows, which we can kind of use to our advantage, I suppose, but we'll see. It is going to be hard, and it's just... Are we going to get some flaming shots off? Hopefully. Germanic bows here and Germanic archers. Uh, not actually in range at this point, though. But we actually have a problem here. We put... We sent all these units on the left flank, and they're using not as many units on their right as we are on our left so that is a problem for us definitely a huge problem the, the fact that we are not using those units at the moment and there they just continue to reposition all along the line and over here you can see that uh, we're kind of gonna get a bit encircled here uh, they've got their Germanic archers pushing up so I'm just trying to kite back uh, they might get another volley off and they do which is kind of bad for my Germanic archers I lose a lot of them actually here this is not good I lose like nine of them 
I mean, at least I waste the volley, but on their units, but still losing nine men is not great. Over here, still, we have all those units where we should actually be pushing that flank potentially. So, yeah, the horse layers here are also going to take some damage, but I'm targeting with the Germanic archers onto their Germanic archers. Now, trying to focus the Scar of Francisca, but they move back, so that's a good move by them. However, I do believe I do get some shots off into them, but now I'm just going to... Uh, I'm targeting the horse layers, okay, because they're Germanic archers, they are not doing much. Okay, now I'm targeting the... I'm not... I'm still not targeting the Germanic archers, that huge blob. But now I'm targeting the Scar of Francisca, and as you can see, I'm starting to push up on the left, but Maximus kind of forgot this single horse layer unit on the left flank. And here we're actually going to start an engagement. Which I figure, okay, it's gonna be good for us, and uh, I'll show you why. We have, we have, like all these sword units on this flank, and we engage here. I think, okay, this is massive. I have an extra cavalry unit I can send around the flank. I can send one to rear charge, and we see this noble Germanic horseman blocking off, kind of like messing up the charge of the Scar of Francisca. Still doing some damage though, uh, but yeah, now this rear charge is going to be massive. But the Ansuitionist Cavalry Guard does manage to pull out and is going to destroy my Germanic Horseman on the charge. Here I get a rear charge, but as you can see, it barely does anything against the Noble Germanic Horseman here. Uh, so at this point, it's like, these units are just so tanky. We are surrounding them. We've got the Gothic Warband supporting a cab fight. And we're also going to send in infantry support first here against this Scara Francisca. So we're like, okay, this engagement should go very well for us, right? But... Here's the problem. These guys are so tanky that now they're just able to send in further support down the line. I do get a nice charge with my Germanic Lancers here into unbraced scaled clubmen, so the damage is real here. As you can see, definitely my Germanic Lancers being super effective here. Uh, and the Ansuitionist Cavalry Guard, of course, they're mopping up my Germanic Horsemen without really losing anything. My Noble Gothic Lancers is kind of completely dying here without getting too many kills either. And now they've got their horse layers in, which is a problem. And here, because we because we didn't mop up this flank, and it's still not mopped up, these units are still alive over there that we just surrounded. They're able to send all these cavalry units around and all these infantry units, and now our right flank is going to get completely crushed because we just had nothing that we could use to destroy this uh, the cavalry that they engaged us with. Like they they're literally, we just literally didn't have anything that could kill them fast enough. So here we're gonna take some uh, some engagements, which unfortunately we have to take, but there's there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to block their their cavalry somehow, otherwise they get to our skirmishers. Uh, my Gothic general is here, but these Frankish lancers making through, not breaking through, but not getting a lot of kills. You see the Germanic horsemen actually kind of turning it around against the Ansuitionist cavalry guard, interestingly enough. Uh, but the noble Germanic horsemen here is just. Uh, we still haven't destroyed those units, interestingly enough, and we are actually engaging here, but they have infantry support, which is not good for me. Uh, looks like Maximus engaged here, or good for us, rather. It's gonna send in the Skeld Club and Horse Hewers, but at this point, these guys are not in uh, Shield Wall, so they're not gonna do great. They're gonna pull out the Answered Jonas. I'm gonna run away with my Gothic General, but this means that this Frankish Lancer can now rear charge these Sword Units, so perhaps I should recharge in my General, even though it was gonna be a risky move. Germanic Horseman here actually turned around, uh, turned the fight around against the Ansuitionist Cavalry Guard. I think part of it is because the Ansuitionists were engaged over here and then they pulled out, so maybe that's why they lost to my Germanic Horseman, but still very funny to see that. I'm gonna get a good charge with my uh, general here onto the flank of the Scaled Clubman, but at this point, like, we don't, our infantry is not holding, and here the Horse Lairs are beating the gothic warband and i couldn't break through with my germanic lancers here my noble gothic lancers actually so here i'm trying to pull out and also in the process i'm making him pull out with the frankish lancers versus my gothic warband so it's kind of like a pull out pull out situation here i get a kind of a charge into these uh, sword units with the few got noble gothic lancers i have left these guys are just so bad they're only good against infantry, but all cavalry is good against infantry almost. Here they're gonna get a good charge onto my Gothic Warband, but at this point, what can I really do? This unit's gonna die. 
We still have some more Gothic Warband, and yes, we're killing all these units, but look at the amount of kills they have on their cavalry. It is just insane, and now they're gonna get more charges into our forces here. Perhaps not the best charges, actually, but still should do significant damage uh, over there. And we're clearly losing the right flank, and uh, horribly, by the way, at that. Gothic General here against Frankish General. Gothic General is going to end up losing this fight, no question about it. They still have archers on the field, so... At this point, it's a really bad situation. Yes, we still have the Redoubtable Chieftain alive, and my General is still alive, but momentarily... Uh, looks like I might be able to mop up these... Frankish Lancers, but I can't even beat Frankish Lancers with no Gothic Lancers, as it seems. And I even had to use Steady, so this is not good at all. Well, maybe I can beat them, but still. So at the engagements over here, you can see the Horse Slayers just and Noble Germanic Horsemen and Scale Clubmen just mopping up this side for sure. We're gonna get rid of this Anstruzionis Cavalry Guard, but not before it does a lot of damage. And they still have some Shock Cav remaining. Uh, just a few men left in these shock cab units, but they're not gonna rout because as you can see they have a decent amount of morale They didn't lose too much morale. These guys lost a lot morale of morale though because they're down to seven But still won't rout off the field um, Let's see the gothic workmen here are fighting, but they haven't really traded too well Skelt Glavan here not in shield wall, but still you can see the Frankish Lancers are going to slowly but surely die But shock cav against shock cav in a pro takes a really long time to finish uh, So here the redoubtable chieftain is now gonna get Piked in the rear, so he's gonna take significant casualties against that for sure Here my gothic general is gonna get rear charged and there's all these horse layers against my gothic general That's really bad for us um, I'm gonna get a decent charge off with the Germanic Lancers here, but there's not much I can do with them at this point Okay, we killed one of their generals. We killed the Langobard general. I mean, that's really good for us, but Is it really enough and he actually charged into scaled clubmen that were in shield wall, so that is why he just died They should have pulled him out. That was a mistake by them, but it shouldn't really matter here I finally got rid of that uh, Frankish Lancer unit because of that, I'm going to get some good charges off with my Lancers here. As you can see, the Scaled Clubmen here getting destroyed. But sadly though, uh, I mean, these units, the Scaled Clubmen here are not going to do too well because they also have Scaled Clubmen and in better numbers. I actually routed some of those Cav units with my Germanic Bows. I need to start targeting this unit though. Uh, so here, my Lancers did very well, but the problem is have this cav unit, they have this cav unit, and my cav unit is just going to die to Sacra Francisca, or Scara Francisca, as they are better called. And now I'm just... I sent the, the two depleted cav units over here, and they just got focused and killed. Uh, the Noble Gothic Lancers here, though, did get a charge onto the Scara Francisca, but they still have Anstruzionis Cav Guard, they still have Scara Francisca, they have the Frankish General, which is just going to do very, very well here, and... Uh, not what, quite, quite sure what we can do here. Yes, the Redoubtable Chieftain is going to disengage against Germanic Pikes, but that means we take a bit of damage charging out. We still have a Horse Hero here, which is not being... Or Horse Layer, rather, which is not really being used. I'm going to start targeting more and more with the Germanic Bow. And as you can see, Germanic Bow, 100 cost, but it's done a lot to pay for itself, I guess. Now it's even going to take the charge for us instead of this Lancer unit. So, yeah, but charging 53 bow units. They must have been really mad at these, this Germanic bow unit that's been annoying them the whole game. So at this point, yeah, they still have 1,300 men remaining. And their Lancers here are going to end up dying. Well, our Lancers, it seems, because of the morale. We still have the Redoubtable Chieftain, but yeah, they have all these archers. And it may seem like... Very one-sided, but it's not so one-sided because all these Germanic archers here Germanic hunters, whatever, they're basically out of ammo right now. And that counts accounts for most of their men, right? So Because they have a lot of those units. That's most of their men. So the only real units that they have are scaled clubmen, the Germanic pikes, but As you can see here, this is still a pretty close game like they don't have much left and with this horse layer on the field Perhaps things may have gone a little bit differently, still probably not in our favor, but would have been even closer than this, I think. Because it was pretty close uh, at the end of the day, I think. Because their cavalry still, though, 
they did so well just the heavy shock cavalry very hard to deal with when we don't have uh, good heavy cavalry ourselves besides the noble germanic horsemen but yeah that is the first game of the match we end up uh, losing the game 1-0 so this isn't too great for us at this point uh, but let's see though um, yeah this is our first match so now we the most we can do out of this match is get one point if we win the second game which would put us at one point in the group which wouldn't be too great but Majutsu and Vim are currently topping the group let's see Germanic bows uh, well my units gothic warband not doing too well noble gothic lancer is doing surprisingly well but besides how crappy they are Germanic Lancers and Germanic Horsemen not doing too well either. Now for Maximus, Skelt Clubmen doing alright for themselves. Oh, actually, no. Some of them doing really well, some doing really bad. And the Noble Germanic Horsemen, despite being gold 3, they did not do very well at all. Now for Majutsu's side, Pike's getting a surprising amount of kills. Uh, Archer's doing quite well. And again, the, the heavy shock cap for them, uh, most of it did extremely well as expected. Now for Vim, his horse slayers did fine. Skelt Clubman uh, defended nicely. Archers uh, quite nicely used too, and the Noble Germanic Horseman overall doing it quite decently. But yeah, that is the first game, so I shall see you in game number two. It's the second battle between me and... Me! <laughs> And me is Maximus, and the other me is... The Prussian Prince. Alright, we are playing uh, Majutsu and Vim of the Round Table Knights Clan. Um, <laughs> uh, do you want to share your thoughts on on this army that, <laughs> that we have here? Okay, so I'm going to go over my army, even <laughs> though I don't really like it because it's not really good. <laughs> well, it's better I have, than mine. <laughs> <laughs> have a gothic general <laughs> with the brace. So far, so good, right? Yep. I have Start six good. six gothic warband. Looks good, so far. Now here's the interesting part. Okay, I have. Let's see. I also have two noble Germanic horsemen, I believe. Yes, I do. That's these. And here is like the what the hell moment. Four yeah. Germanic lancers. Four noble gothic lancers. That is pure insanity. Because <laughs> those units are so bad that nobody ever brings them except them, yeah. except us. And the reason <laughs> why we have brought them is because we have to. We absolutely have to under the rules. You can only bring a maximum of four of the same cavalry type per team. And since we are geniuses and picked double Germanics before knowing about the rules, that means that we can only bring four heavy cavalry units. I think we picked the factions when the rule, where it wasn't that rule, I think. Yeah, right? so that, that's true. Hmm. And we had and time we, to change as well, but... We absolutely did, we just yeah. didn't. But and then the patch came, which of course made the Germanic Horsemen useless. <laughs> that that was another... Yeah. Yeah, another problem. So yeah, the problem with... The, prob the reason why those... You can just, uh, by the stats... I'm, I'm a fan of the Germanic Lancers just because they are so cheap. Um, I'm not a fan of the um, not a fan of the Nova Gothic Lancers. They have mid-tier stats, an almost elite price, and they are only medium, so they die to everything and anything. No bonus against large either, so they are terrible units. And I, the first battle, we kind of, I believe, we lacked infantry a bit. Uh. I think that's the case, yeah. So we just decided to go pure rush, no skirmish. <laughs> uh, I have six scale clubs, six Langobard clubs, uh, three horse slayers, and four Germanic, two two noble Germanics and two Germanic horsemen. <coughs> and uh, the reason why we're deployed like this, all the way over on the flank, was because we were going to try to rush one of their flanks. Oh, then they deploy a bit. <laughs> back and to the opposite side of yeah. where we deployed so we just kind of painted ourselves yeah. into a corner and, uh, let's look so at should their we builds. Pl press play uh, let's look at their builds first 
Oh yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Uh, so for the Franks, that is, uh, I believe the Franks are Vim. Yeah, Vim's playing as the Franks in this game. But the, oh yeah, another interesting thing they did is that they switched their factions from the first game to their second game. I mean, they switched who plays which faction. Yeah. Fairly interesting. That they and the that. reason, the reason why. Um I asked the Prussian Prince to command the cavalry because since I haven't played the game in a long time, I know my micro is bad. And if I control the cavalry, things are going to end <laughs> horribly for us. So the idea was that I <laughs> I control the infantry and it's easier for me than yeah. to control the cavalry. The thing is, uh, in this matchup, like we're up against really good players who also have like much better factions than us. So it's like yeah. an uphill struggle. Like really uphill struggle. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, the Franks, we see the gold three Frankish general. Interesting choice with Brace. Uh, we have two Scara Francisca on each flank and uh, two Anspitzernas cavalry guard on each flank as well. Two Frankish lancers on the left flank. Those are the only medium cavalry units that they have. Everything else is pretty much heavy and I believe some of the Scara Francisca have bronze one, two. Okay, two of them have bronze one. Yep. And uh, is, let's see, is that the whole build of the Franks? Just the massive cavalry, or did he bring anything else? Okay, he brought up front four Germanic pikes and uh, two Germanic archers. archers. Yep. Yeah, two Germanic archers. And that is it for uh, the Franks. And for the Langboards, we have two horse slayers on each flank. Then we have a solid center of scale clubs, six scale clubs, the redoubtable chieftain general, a few Germanic archer units, and um, it's a no it's they have a nice combination of sturdy, strong infantry, pikes, long range archers, support for the cavalry. Uh, in my opinion, though, I think th they they talked about not changing the factions either um, uh, it makes sense because this isn't the best infantry support that they could have for their shock cavalry there are some factions that could give them a lot of trouble but still the build uh, is they win the cavalry fight they have 12 heavy cavalry units yeah so, by far yeah yeah so mm -hmm. the, it's I don't know what we think we're going to do here but <laughs> Let's see. Well, came up with the plan in the beginning to just rush the right, and we're yeah. gonna stick to it. And YOLO, we'll we'll see. Okay, so goes. Uh, I'm pressing space now. You can see our orders. The Persian prince. Did your formation mess up or something? Yeah, when I pressed up with the app arrow key just to move my formation up, it completely destroyed the formation. Yeah, <laughs> that happens sometimes. Okay, so do we resume? Yep, three, two, one, and play. Okay. All right. So you, uh, I'm just brushing up here, almost to their front, and the idea here is to s use the cheap Langobard clubs to beat through the pikes, get at the archers behind, and have the stronger units rush the flank here. Yeah, and uh, ideally, I want to get a charge off onto those horse layers as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if I can manage to do that, but. But they, they make a smart move there. They rotate away from us and just present the pikes up front. And yeah, that's uh, really good because now our cav in the center uh, can't push. I believe they got some shots off on the Germanic horsemen. Yeah, they oh, did. Yeah. They didn't kill anything, but the hit point damage was oh. done that day. Killed six men, actually. I see. In oh, one unit. Yeah. Shit. And th those were noble Germanics, so that was very nice. They, they had a crossbow there as well. I don't know whether it killed anything, but. Um, yeah. Here it's comes the engagement to... on the There we left. go, you're going to get into the horse layers, aren't yeah, you? And I am, I am, <laughs> he responded a bit too late. Oh, they oh. knocked down their own horse layers, and then you actually managed to hit both units because they yes. their own charge. And now I get another wow. charge into the horse layers. And then you move into the flanks, then you get hit in the flanks. Then I get the scaled clubman with one Germanic lancer. Because it's Wrecking out of position. Wrecking some scaled clubs here. And I'm not even there yet, so your attack here is, is not a bad one. Unfortunately, you did manage to kill the horse slayers. 92 left, 87, le 86 yeah. left. They took a lot of damage, but now I have yeah. a lot of cav on the left. But how am I going to break through those? 
units is the question. And here I got the charge with my noble Germanics against the Anstrutiones cavalry guard. Then I get the horse slayers into the flanks here. So this yeah. is a decent enough engagement because this shock cav unit did not get a charge. But here you'll see the point if you look at the if, up, at the our right flank now. At this point, my micro starts to slip because here we have two units that were supposed to go in like this, and then I just forget about them. Yeah. Instead of giving attack orders, I'm just moving them like this. Yeah, and should, you should go put them in diamond to go for their shock cap, if anything. But I'm not, I'm not even going to get a charge here because I mess up. So this, in my opinion, is where we kind of lose the game because yeah. these two cover units so important yeah i mean theoretically if we pulled them away and they kept chasing that would be a yeah. very cost effective trade for us absolutely and they're just gonna die very fast get them closer to the horse layers but because i'm winning here and i'm winning here i win both of these engagements yes the pikes are going down and the, the clubs over here we're not doing a terrible job actually we are pouring in the problem is your cavalry units are just not good enough but the thing is, we didn't get our infantry charged, whereas we got the, their horse yes. slayers charged. So now the gothic warbands are going to pour in and they don't have infantry support on our left. So, so overall, over here my noble Germanic horsemen won, then they're going to get charged themselves. But uh, overall, the engagements weren't horrible, actually. Yeah, I'm actually going to go as far as saying that we got the better engagements overall. On this flank, at least. Yeah. And on my left, you can see the Anstruciones Cavalry Guard surrounded by Germanic Lancers and the yeah. Gothic Warband. Taking some time to kill, but they're going to end up dying as well. Getting Horse Slayers here into the fight with Noble Germanics and the Frankish General. So he's losing men. The pikes are broken. So now they're bunching up their skirmishers to a significant degree. Mm. But the, we still don't have any free cavalry to get in and deal with that. Unfortunately. Oh. You charged with the Langobard Clubman against the Scaled Clubman that was in Shield Wall, though. Yeah, that was to just try and try and stop them for a bit. Uh, these these Langobards have already done their job. I don't want these clubs to go and protect skirmishers. And yeah, I make a mistake on the left. I get one of my noble Germanics charged by one of theirs, and they send up pipe support. I also use a lot of flaming shot on flaming shots on my gothic general you can see that he's dropping quick Ooh, he's taking level. damage yeah. wow but we are breaking through fairly easily through the left i want to say but those yeah those heavy shock carriers they hold out so long even against the, all these yeah odds. the armor on the health is just too insane for us to deal with yeah and here i'm getting a charge with the noble germanics but i've they're pulling out of the engagement with the Frankish general, so he's losing decisively here. But all of these units, I just have some Germanic horse, a noble Germanic horse here. So I, I'm not able to, unfortunately, not able to clean up this fight, but it, it was a fairly close fight. Yeah. And on the left, I got Gothic warbands in the rear of their cavalry, so now they're just Very going nice. to chain route. And you're actually breaking a lot of the enemy cavalry here. You're breaking Anstrutiones, you're breaking Skara. They're, they're running away, and yeah. that was pure rear charge, so that was that, a very good move. That horse layer is gonna die to the Germanic Lancer charge, one way the Germanic Lancers are useful. Yep. Uh, now the next unit's going to die, they're actually gonna sacrifice this noble Germanic horseman to tie us down. At this point, I thought, to be honest, at this point I thought we had it. Because look at all the units that are breaking through here. Yeah. Their all their and pikes are gone. have a unit here. So I do charge one of my horsemen, and I do route the pike unit as well, kind of like in the center. Yeah, yeah their um, entire center is just disappearing. Yeah. They have a lot of skirmishers, and that's the problem for us right now. Yeah. We don't they're focusing our cav. Yeah, we're f they're focusing our cav, and our cavalry has taken a lot of damage so far. Yeah, and, uh, their cavalry is dying, but we, yeah, we just don't have the skirmishing, and if, even if, I mean. The build that we, the, uh, the build that especially I bought was just the sort of the result of being frustrated with knowing that our army was fucked. It, and, it's uh, not a smart build. Yeah, at this point, like I make some mistakes with my cavalry, like I get them shot, and my general as well. Yeah. You can see there he gets shot again and loses more men, but yeah. 
We just mopped up the left really well and Look and at all the units that are left, it's quite insane how many Like at this point in the battle we have 1900 men and they have 1500 Yeah, but and a lot of that so is many cavalry units just mopping up Yeah, a lot of those units are in skirmishers Yeah So And the scale club, of course, do not support cavalry fights at all Yeah which is, which was, I think, one of the main mistakes in terms of the army that I brought was if I had been able to support your cavalry fights better, um, that would have been massive, I think. Yeah, some godensmen <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. You see, I still have some cavalry left, but I'm keeping them. Right now, I'm keeping them in the back so that they don't get shot. But at some point, yeah, I'm going to start really making them close. You have. You just have Germanic Lancers, and yeah, yeah that's... I they're not going to work. And here it comes, they just fire at my Gothic General, they get in range, and the General dies, with like 20 men left. And, yeah. uh, it's gonna be that's really bad right bad now. Luck. I pull him back, but he routes, and at that point he was dead anyway, so... Yeah. There was another cavalry unit though, so if it still stayed alive, maybe could have done something. Even at so, this point, yeah, yeah. At this point, it's still not we, impossible. At this point, no, it's not impossible. But the thing is, though, all of the scale—they have uh, so many scale clubs here, and Gothic warband into scale clubs—that just dies. Yeah, I, I overextended with that Germanic lancer. Though I killed a lot of that Frankish general, as you can see over there. But yeah, is it worth it though? Is the question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it would have probably gotten shot because you were so close anyway, yes. so charging it in is, I think, is a good uh, idea. It was still not because efficient, 23 but men remaining, you could have killed the general at that point. It's, yeah, if we got it's lucky. It's a gamble worth taking, yeah. I think. His mine died at like 20 and... Yeah, it, it happened, was, so yeah. it was a gamble, it didn't pay off, but it, it could have. Yeah, at this point, they're just going to kite, and we don't really. We have one more cavalry unit left, which they're probably gonna try and get rid of. I'm trying to yep. get some rear charges onto these skilled clubmen with uh, noble Germanic horsemen to stop them from running. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I keep like faking the charge, but I'm they, trying they to don't fight. Here with scaled yeah. clubs as well. Get the charge and. Don't allow them the time to form open shield wall essentially. Gothic Warband routed off the field though, like 58 men, and it's part yeah. of the reason why he routed the fact that the general is gone. And here we have the, the thing I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to make, trying to shut off the cavalry because I'm not going to be able to kill the cavalry with clubs. Uh, it doesn't do enough damage, but Ooh. if. If these Skara try to pull out, I was hoping they were going to try to pull out, and they actually try to pull out, and that is going to give me the bonus I need to start doing damage to the Skara. Yeah, the thing is, is uh, apparently the mats behind Skilled Clubmen against uh, Heavy Shock Gallery, just you need 250 hits with the Skilled Clubmen to kill a Heavy Cav unit, supposedly. Yeah, it's, it just <laughs> doesn't happen. Yeah. It's uh, one of the reasons why the Langobards are at a slight disadvantage with their clubmen against cavalry factions because the clubmen are infantry killing specialists but they are not as good as the Danax units and they are horrible against cavalry compared to the Danax units. Yeah, and here. So they basically kill the units that you need to worry about the least. Yeah, and that's Scara Francisca still alive and just being a huge pain right now for us. Yeah. Got a nice charge here against the scale clubs, sending in my general. But then the Scara is going to rear charge my general. They still have this one cavalry unit left. Yeah. Moving around the flanks with some scale clubs. And uh, right now on our right we have some clubmen, but unfortunately they are not in shield wall, whereas theirs are, so... We're going to end yeah. up losing that engagement as well. I thought I had them out of shield wall, but shield wall can be activated quite quickly, yeah. so it's it's easy to to uh, lose lose uh, sight of what's going on here. But we still have, I mean, 
There my general dies. But the only unit left that has ammunition is that Germanic yeah. crossbow. Your general died with about 60 men too, so again yeah, it's, it's unlucky. Yeah, bad luck, basically. Yeah. Just Their general luck. is down to 23 and sadly not dead. And now again they're pulling out the general and he's well he's winning decisively but he still lost lost a few men and so their general could could have died at this point as well but the redoubtable chieftain is of course alive and well <laughs> they're redoubtable chieftain though not yeah. ours <laughs> <laughs> so yeah not not being able to take care of this germanic crossbow was turned out to be huge in the late game yeah, and their cavalry too, because with late game cavalry clubmen against yeah. the. Yeah, and just finally. Bringing, bringing 13 clubmen was just a horrible, <laughs> horrible idea. Should never have done that. Because yeah, if you look at what they have left now, this is something we could have dealt with if we had a composition that was a bit smarter. Like, there was no reason to bring all those clubmen because no, like, they're probably not. gonna go super heavy on the cab, which they did. Yep. And, like, we're gonna win the infantry engagement, so. Yeah. And, and that's what ended up happening. We actually broke through the center, broke through the flanks, and then they can just kite and pick us apart with their cavalry. But it is so close that if we had a cavalry unit or two left, then this could have been doable. Could have been possible. Yeah. If I didn't lose my general or. Something yeah. like that. Just those few instances where you got your cavalry charged, where I lost two Germanic horsemen unnecessarily because I was too slow, um, mm. and looking at something else, that those those specific moments were enough to lose this battle, I think. Yeah. Because th those cavalry units were about to make it, uh, were about to move and get at the, skir the skirmish blob, and one cavalry unit in that skirmish blob, and they don't have any skirmish support in the yeah. late game. I mean, what we could have done with our cavalry is kept them in reserve after the main fight and then yeah, uh, absolutely. use it later instead absolutely. of just getting it shot. Yeah, that could have been a very good idea. Just use it to stop enemy cavalry. Yeah. Um, and here we have the Frankish general alive at 14 men. I think <laughs> he's actually dead, though. Okay. I think he died at some point. Yeah, general dead. If you look no, at the, no, the Frankish general, units. Well, if you look at the Frankish yeah, units, the general yeah, the dead. Frankish general is dead. The, it's the Langobard general that's alive. Yeah. He only lost three men, the Langobard general. Yeah. Hmm. At this point, it's over. We just have two scaled clubmen left. But <laughs> one's about to die to all the cavalry. They even use brace at this point <laughs> yeah. for that extra charge bonus. But yeah, Valiant is there. And the, the, the funny thing is, the, the clubmen weren't the worst units of the bunch, actually. <laughs> the Langobar clubs g got some kills. Yeah. More kills than the Germanic horse. Um, yeah, wow. Look at some of the Gothic Warband. <laughs> yep. Gothic <laughs> Warband are such a nice unit. But if you, look at, if you look at their cavalry, you have... I mean, okay, you have Anstrationis cavalry guard, you have... Uh, three Anstrationes that combined get mm, 59 kills. Then you have Skara that get 23, 14. But then you have the units that win the game. You have Anstrationes that get 262 and Skara that gets 361. It's hard to make all of them ineffective. Yeah. And for the Lango boards, the crossbows, of course, they were MLG <laughs> and the Germanic archers were MLG. And their clubs. Uh, yeah, their clubs were pretty good. Killed Killed our horse clubs. layers as well. <laughs> yeah, horse layers did surprisingly well considering they got charged. Uh, yeah. Both of them, I believe. I think what happened was that since he moved his, cav his uh, shock cavalry through his own unit, then they stopped uh, some of the horse slayers yeah. from getting hit because they had something like 90 men remaining after you charge them and losing 30 men on the charge uh, unbraced that's something that just doesn't happen mm -hmm. and pulling back i think they were yeah so i got a rear charge maybe you can't can you kill units that are knocked on the ground <laughs> maybe you can't. um i think you can 
still, I think you, they can still get um, a, a attack penalties against them. But I'm not quite sure how that works because if you knock units, if you knock units, you will knock units either back or forwards. So if you knock units, like he knocked the units forwards, which means that you would just ride over them instead of impacting them yes. yourself. He might have saved them from impact damage. Hmm. Because I'm quite Maybe, sure yeah. that units are, do not take impact damage when they are hmm. on the ground. Saved his own unit by <laughs> knocking by them down. It down. Shock Get yeah. down! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> MLG. Move. Yeah, but uh, Majutsu and Wim, they have the better armies. They had um, 12. <laughs> they had smarter armies, better armies. And of course, 12 heavy cavalry can never yeah. be underestimated. We did not play against our opponent's factions this game. No, we didn't. Mm. But it was still really close, all things considered. I think it was, yeah. The, um, there were a few critical mistakes. Charging units yeah. into shield wall clubs, of course. And uh, getting cavalry charged. But other than that, it wasn't as horrible as the horrible uh, builds might suggest it would be. <laughs> like, your, yeah. your gothic warbands do a really, really good job here. It's just the cavalry that is so underperforming. If you compare the performance of the Nova Gothic Lancers with the performance of the Skara, for example. Um, the, what's interesting is that on three of your Gothic Lancers get more kills than the Skara. But it's just that one Skara that, that does something that Gothic Lancers <laughs> can never do. <laughs> Stay alive until the late game and just wreck everything. Yeah, which is what happens here. Yeah. But, but it was fun. Uh, I think, uh, well, at least I learned a bit more about 2v2 games through this game. Yeah. Like I said, they are different. Playing with weights. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so then, when we take off the weights, we'll be very strong. <laughs> hope we will hopefully. Be. Hopefully. Yep. We'll uh, see because this this battle was played. Uh, was it yesterday or? Uh, was it the day before? Two days ago, maybe? Two days ago, yeah, two days ago. And then today we had two battles. <laughs> two very good battles. Actually, three <laughs> battles almost. Yes, three battles. If we count. <laughs> okay. <Yep. laughs> uh, we'll see if this practice uh, serves as well in, in those battles yes. later on. <laughs> All right, so. thanks, for, uh, thanks for the game to Majutsu Vim and the Prussian Blitz. Thank you, and check out Maximus' channel at uh, youtube.com slash Maximus Norvegicus. Also will be in the description below. Yeah, I'll put the, the link to the Prussian Princess. The Prussian Princess, youtube.com slash the Prussian Prince. Who would have mistaken? thought? Yeah, who would yeah. have thought? <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video, and I shall see you next time.